So let's talk about taking risks, growing quickly. If you're you know, a business owner, you are essentially a risk taker because having a business means you are taking risks. I don't see how you can be a business owner and not be taking risks, right? Um, now, does that mean we do stupid things in our business? No. Does that mean we do stupid things in our lives? No. Like you can take risks and take them smart, right? Um, so like I'll give the example of, you know, hiring a coach. Is that a risk? Yes. Is it a smart risk? Heck to the yes. And I always think about I think about what is the worst possible outcome when it comes to, to me like taking a risk in something. So example, hiring a business coach. I think about like what's the worst possible outcome for me actually hiring this business coach? And it's like, okay, I could lose all the money, right? Um, it, but then I also think of like what what I have to gain through that opportunity. So I think about, okay, by hiring this person, I have access to X, Y, and Z. That's going to help me. By hiring this person, I have, you know, I'm going to make these connections or I'm going to get this specific outcome. So I'm always thinking about, yes, there's a risk involved and like the, what I'm getting from it is helping me mitigate that risk, if that makes sense. Okay. And so when it comes to growing quickly, you have to be thinking about how can I pursue failure and take more risks? Okay. How can I pursue failure and take more risks? Because you're not going to grow your business just by sitting on your laurels, hoping that, you know, by doing nothing and by watching YouTube videos, you're actually going to grow because that ain't going to happen. Okay. Um, Mark Zuckerberg, who I think we're all pretty familiar with. He said the biggest risk is not taking any risk. In a world that is changing really quickly, the only strategy that's guaranteed to fail is not taking risks, okay? I think about my life and some of the most rewarding things that have ever happened and that those have all come through me taking risks. So I think about when I was 20 and I moved to Africa by myself, that was a risk. Um, I didn't know anybody on the continent and you never know what's going to happen, right? Like I didn't know. Um, that ended up being one of the most rewarding things that has ever, like one of the most rewarding experiences. And I ended up meeting my husband and it completely transformed my life. And so when you think about taking risks, I want you just thinking in terms of risk reward. Yes, this is a risk. And what's coming on the other side of it? What's the potential for growth on the other side of this risk? Okay. I think about like when I hired my first business coach, was that a risk? Yeah, it was a lot of money to hire her. And also the, just everything that has come since I made that risky investment. Um, yeah, I mean, I think like I, I'm thinking about how you can reframe it in your head. So I mean, like when you think about the risk of hiring a coach, right? Compared to the risk of, you know, going to college and spending thousands of dollars on a degree and being in debt. Like my, my, I didn't spend anything on college because I got a scholarship um, for playing volleyball, but for grad school I did. I got partial scholarship. Still, it was a lot of money. Um, that's a risk to go to college, to go to grad school, and to spend all that money without knowing if there's ever going to be a return on that investment, right? And so it's just a matter of looking at what's the risk, what's the potential reward. Sarah Polish said, living with fear stops us from taking risks. If you don't go out on the branch, you're never going to get the best fruit. And so I did a leadership program when we talked about living living life on the skinny branches. So it's basically like you got to go out to the skinny branches to get the best fruit, right? And if you don't dare to step out, you're never going to see the best fruit. You're never going to get the reward of what that risk is. So I want you to think in your head, what are some of the risks that you have been Maybe like you're playing in your head of like, oh my gosh, can I really do this? Or is this too risky, right? So I'll give an example. So I talked about like hiring a coach, but there's also, you know, the risk of spending money on Facebook ads as you grow your business, right? And so it's, it's always going to be a risk to hire somebody to, to do that, right? Or to do it yourself or because it's expensive now. So I remember I was doing a launch and I was going to spend, I think, 20 grand on Facebook ads for that launch. And it was something brand new that I'd never done before. 
And I was getting kind of like anxious about it because it's, you know, like 20 grand, no matter what you look at it, like it's always going to be a lot of money. And back then it was a lot of money. Um, it was probably half of what we had in our business bank account at the time. And so I was like a little nervous about that. Um, and I, I had to coach myself. And this is something I want you to start to do is just coach yourself. And I asked myself this question, what's the worst possible scenario here? Like you spent 20 grand on Facebook ads. What's the worst possible outcome? And so I thought to myself, I'm like, okay, the worst possible outcome, you spend 20 grand on Facebook ads. Well, I mean, you're still going to build your email list. Like even if nobody buys, even if nobody buys, you're still going to build your email list. You're still going to build your Facebook group. You're going to help a lot of people. So I'm like, even if nobody buys, which statistically that probably won't happen, like people are going to buy, even if nobody buys, you're going to still have all these benefits from taking that one risk right? And so just by asking myself, like, what's the worst possible outcome and running through that scenario and then realizing like, oh, it's really not that risky to to do this. It's really not that big of a deal. I'm just making it a big deal in my head. Have you ever done that before where it's like you, you have something that you want to do, but you're like, maybe you're talking yourself out of it or you're like, I don't know if I can really handle this or whatever, whatever chatter is going on in your head. This is where you have the opportunity to actually coach yourself and ask yourself, like, what's the worst possible outcome is really not that bad. You know, it's it, like, am I going to die? No. And so I'm like, I talked about there being risk in business and risk in life. So I'm thinking about some of the stupid things that I did when I was, you know, before kids of, you know, jumping off of mountains in Morocco and going paragliding or just stuff like that, that I wouldn't do now, not because it scares me necessarily, but because something could happen. And I'm a mom now and I'm responsible for my children. I don't want them growing up without a mom, right? So I'm not going to do stupid risks that put my life in jeopardy. But the risk of hiring a coach, investing in a mastermind, um, you know, investing in Facebook ads, those are risks that will likely see a high reward on the other end. And so it makes sense. Adina Friedman said, you can't be successful in business without taking risks. It's really that simple. So I want you to think about <clears throat> if you want to grow quickly, it's it's a, it's an, a necessity for you to take that risk. So what is that risk for you that you're like, it's a little scary. It makes me a little uncomfortable. And I know that by me stepping out of my comfort zone and taking this risk, it's going to give me the opportunity to grow a hundred times quicker than I would on my own. So I want you just to think and reflect of what's that thing. And I want you to stop living in the fear of what if. So you're asking like, what if I invest this and, and it doesn't work out or what, you know, whatever. Ask yourself, what if I don't take action? Then what's going to happen? Like, what if I don't do this? And what if I stay in the exact same spot, right? What if I don't grow? What if I don't take the risk? And then flip it on your head and, you know, and coach yourself through that. You know, like if I don't take the risk, what's going to happen? What are the consequences of staying where I'm at, right? Um, we did a thing at Tony Robbins. Gosh, this was back in like 2016. Has it been that long? Oh my gosh. Um, the Dickens uh, exercise of, you know, when you don't take action, what are the consequences? What are the prices that you end up paying five years from now, 10 years from now? What's the pain that you experience because you didn't do that thing five years from now, 10 years from now? What What's the pain that other people are experiencing because you didn't take that thing? Like you didn't take that risk. You didn't step out of your comfort zone. You stayed exactly where you are. What's the pain? What's the consequence that you and the people you love what are they feeling? Because you stayed exactly where you are. And so it's just a, a reminder that you are made for greatness and greatness does not come from comfort zones. And so if you want to grow quickly, you got to take the risk and you got to ask yourself, all right, what do I need to do to get there? What's the step that I need to take? Who do I need to hire? What like what scary thing do I need to do? Because if it's not scary, you're not really growing. It's not scary. You're not really growing. All right. I'm going to get some work done and hang out. We just got back from France. And uh, what's a 90s blossom revival? Okay. <laughs> um, we just got back from France. And when I got back from France, it was my birthday. And I got COVID. Um, so I'm recovering from COVID. Feeling a lot better today, actually. Um, was able to go for a walk. 
That being said, ask yourself, what's the next risk that I should take? The next risk that I should take to see the big reward. Okay. I hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll talk soon. Bye.